is uh, Skiff. What was life like there for you? Well, um, Skive. Skive. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Skive was a small town in the countryside in, in Denmark, and uh, it was really good for me to grow up in a small environment. You know, um, everything was there that you needed as a child. Um, it wasn't too big, so you, you felt safe about doing stuff on your own without your parents from an early age. So. Um, and the music environment was great there. I mean, a lot of uh, a lot of musical talents came came out of that s small city. So, so it seemed like we we were onto something in Skive in, in my generation from there. So, um, so I had a really good uh, good time growing up in Skive. Yeah, there are a lot of other musicians <laughs> from there that you yeah. know well. Yeah, there are. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, it's it's a very small. Uh, Small city, so the the music environment, you know, everyone knows each other from there. Um, but there are big names in Denmark. I don't think they're that big here in 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 Holland, but uh, from from Skive in Denmark. Hmm. And when did you want to get out of Skive? As soon as I was finished with uh, high school, I actually wanted to. I wanted to go to New York when I was 15. Um, but uh, my father, he sort of. Uh, he took my hand and he said, you know, I'm going to support you because I said that I didn't want to study anymore, anymore and I wanted to be, become a rock star. <laughs> so, so he took my hand and he said, you know, you have to finish high school and then you have to promise me to never do drugs and then I'll support you all the way. And, and we've kept the promise so far, both of us. So. And your mother, how did she look towards that? Uh, um, in the beginning she was uh, kind of upset with me not going to universities, but uh, but now she sort of uh, she sort of forced me to to join a book club, so I get a book every month, and she pays for it. So it's, so I get a little bit of uh, intellectual knowledge as well. Exactly, uh, because you have been to, to New York, uh, eventually, yeah. I guess. Yeah, uh, I did that after high school. Yeah, what did that brought you? Well, New York is an amazing place to be, and I still you know I still go there often, and I think about moving back for some time. Uh, I think the, the the cool thing about New York is that no matter where you come from, you feel at home when you come to New York, and and uh, the whole pulse of the city and uh, um, the art scene there is amazing. And you, you you see weird people all the time, and you people are very open-minded. And um, and from a songwriting perspective, it's it's great to be there. It's very very inspiring. Why? Mm. It's something, you know, it's something in the air, you know, it's, uh, you feel close, you feel that you're sort of in the center of, of the world for some reason, and, uh, and you know that, that, you know, probably a hundred meters away from you in some building, there is a big star who's, who's doing what you dream of doing. So I guess, you know, being in that, you know, I guess everyone who comes to New York feel that they're in a movie kind of thing, and, and that, that's also how it feels as a songwriter, you, you feel that, you, Wow, I, this this is close to the stars. So. Mm -hmm. Did you meet a lot of people there? Yeah, I did. Mm. And for how long have you been there in New York? Well, I lived there for a year, for a year. and then then now I go there at least two, three times a year. Okay, why did you move back? Yeah. I missed my family, to be honest, and and my friends. You know, it's a great place to be, but it's a, it's it's far away, especially when you travel a lot. So, so you always have to sort of. Uh, you know, people in, in, in Europe, they sleep when you can talk and stuff. And, and now that I'm traveling that much, I, I want to be close to them. So when I have time off, it's easy to go and see them because otherwise I would never see them. Hmm. Because now you live in London, I guess? Yeah. yeah. So that's... That, that's that's more, far closer. Yeah. I mean, Copenhagen is, is, um, is west, of, um, um, west of Skive. And London is east, so London is sort of in the middle of Copenhagen and, and London, so... Yeah.